what up? That's number squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Now. Welcome, SM Squad. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. That's guys said, if you're having a rough day, let's turn it around right now with some good energy and some good content, all right? So, my lovely wife, who do we have today? All right, today we'll be reacting to Watch What Happens When They Mention God on Live TV. Whoa. On live TV. Okay, live TV. All right, you guys sent it over. So we are Let's happy see. to react to it. But first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell so you guys be notified. Here we go. Let's good go. energy and good content. Let's get it. Let's see what we got. But this is the tampered footage. Andre, congratulations. How do you turn this around? Man, yeah, first off, the issue with sin, it, 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 it wow. makes us, our sin that's in us makes us do those things. And the only, the only salvation for this sin is the gospel. The only way to really cure that what's on the inside is understanding that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And so the, to me, on a micro level, it's understanding. Oh, and just like that, we lost him. I know. I Masters wow. champion, Bubba Watson. Um, and then second, I got to thank uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this day means so much more than, than putting on this green jacket in many ways. All right, so a uh, technical glitch there from what? Watson National, but wow. we will bring you technical much more about glitch. Watson, obviously. They are trying to stop you from hearing this message. Our young people today do not have the same access to this message as the young people 50 years ago. And say what you like about Donald Trump, but none of you can deny this simple fact that today we live in a world of fake news. And in oh, a moment's no. time, I will prove it to you by showing you the shocking thing that NASA has has been doing to its employees. But first, what is our message? Well, if no one's too embarrassed, let me share with you a story. Jessica's mom had ugly hands. Everyone used to laugh at Jessica's mom. They used to say, oh, her hands are all scarred. They're all disgusting. They're all red. They're all patchy. And Jessica herself was rather scared of her mom's hands. At times, she wouldn't even want to hold her own mother's hand. And at other times, the boys and girls at school, they used to laugh at Jessica. In fact, one day it was so bad that Jessica just spent the whole evening crying her eyes out in bed, saying, I hate mommy. I hate mommy because she has ugly hands. So her father went into the room and said, Jessica, do you know why your mom's hands look the way they do? When you were but a little baby, there was a fire in our house and the staircase was on fire and you were up in the very top bedroom but your mother was on the ground floor so do you know what your mum did she grabbed a blanket she wrapped it around her waist and then she climbed up to the top of the metal gutter pipe that led up to the bedroom every time she put her hand on that hot gutter pipe it burned tss, tss, tss. but she got you she saved you and she brought you to safety in the garden wow. when it was all over the fireman looked at mum's hands and saw they were a mess. You couldn't even recognise that they were hands. They were so blotchy. They were so red. That's why your mum has ugly hands. And in that moment, Jessica ran out of her bed and she ran into her mother's bedroom and she started kissing her mum's hands and saying, Mum, you have the most beautiful hands in the world. And our message is exactly the same. To the people of the world, they look at Jesus Christ's pierced hands and they see them as ugly. But to those who know the truth, we yes. think they are the most beautiful hands in the world. Those hands were pierced. They had nails through them. For all the times that your hands have hurt people, have done cruel, nasty things. He also had his feet pierced. His feet had nails driven through them. For all the times that your feet have walked to places you know you should not be, but you stayed there, even though your conscience was telling you to get out. And Jesus Christ, he had his brow pierced. He wore a crown of thorns. For all the times that your mind has thought, 
evil things. Your mind has thought rude things, shameful things. There the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, suffered on that cross to rescue us. Because just like that little baby up in that top bedroom, you and I are helpless. We will die in our sins and we need saving. We need rescuing. And that's what Jesus did on the cross. But our message doesn't end there. Yes, after Jesus died, he was buried. After he suffered on the cross, the substitute for our sin, there he was, he stood there in our place where we should have stood, paying the debt that we could never pay, enduring the wrath of God. After all of that, when he was put in that tomb, they put a huge big stone in front of it, a stone that would take many, many men to push away. And then on the third day, what happened? That tombstone was rolled away and no one could find the body. Why? Because Jesus had risen from the grave. And there he stood in front of 500 witnesses, proving to people that he really could back up what he said previously. What did he say previously? I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And there Christ Amen. stood, resurrected, beating the grave, and now offers a hope to anyone who'll come. I'll give you eternal life. I'll conquer your grave if you'll put your trust in me. That's our message, and it's the best message in the world. I am confident that some of you will be surprised at how NASA is trying to stop the name of Jesus from going out. But first, I need wow. to ask you this question. Are you ashamed of this message? Paul, wow. the Apostle Paul once said, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also for the Greek. Listen to me. We live in a world that is ashamed of the gospel, but I believe the worst tragedy of all is that right now even the church is ashamed of the gospel. And yet we say we've got the most amazing message. Here we know about the blood of Christ that can wash away all of our sins and make us clean in God's eyes. Here we know about a gospel that has taken criminals, the worst of society, and turned them into the most godliest saints in history. Here we have a message of people who are stuck in the very belly of addiction and then they find Christ Jesus and their life is changed and they have victory. Here Amen. we have a message Amen. where the life of God comes and lives inside the soul of man. The most amazing message and yet you will be hard pressed to find one Christian who will speak up for Jesus today. Oh my dear friends, how often do we cry out, Lord God, send your revival. Lord God, send your spirit down into this land and bring sinners to yourself. But we need to ask ourselves very honestly this question. Why would God send his revival to a church that is ashamed of him and his gospel? Does it not concern you? Mm. After all of these podcasts that we listen to, after all the online messages we have, the Christians on social media, all this content that we consume, the mega churches, the conferences, after all of this Bible that is being pumped into our lives every single day, I still believe we have never had a larger generation of Christians who who are more afraid to stand up for Jesus Christ when it costs them. Many of us are wow. living in easy street. And please don't misunderstand me. I'm not talking about getting arrested. I'm not talking about standing up for Christian moral issues, which at times we may need to do. But I'm talking about where are the men and women who will preach the blood of Christ? Where are the men and women who believe in the empty tomb, who talk about repentance, faith, forgiveness of sins, who will preach the gospel even when when it makes them look silly. Where are the men and women who believe that Jesus Christ gave us one message, a main message, and will say, I am not ashamed of this message. This is my commission to preach Christ to all that do not know his name. Guys, I feel like the biggest hypocrite saying this because often people will ask me, what do you do for a living? And I tell them with a big smile on my face, I'm a YouTuber. And you see their eyes light up and they say, how many subscribers do you have? And then they say, what kind of videos do you make? And as they ask that question, I feel a little pinch of anxiety. And I tell wow. them, I make Christian videos. And soon they're not as excited after all. And friends, we should not be ashamed that we are Christians, that we bear the name of Christ, that we've been adopted into the family of God, sons and daughters of the Most High God. We should rejoice at that. 
Tosa actually said, millions follow Christ, but very few follow the crucified Christ. And I guess what I'm asking you is, will you do this practically? Will you stand with your local street preacher while he gets ridiculed by the unbelievers around him? Will you be willing to take a pack of gospel tracts and give them out to unbelievers even though you'll get rejected all day long? Will you be willing to share a Christian video on social media and get all of this negative feedback from your friends and family? Will you be willing to lose your reputation at work by telling people that you're a believer? Will you be willing to lose friends when you say, no, I'm not going to get drunk, no, I'm not going to watch that movie, I'm a Christian now and I need to live a life that honours my God, my Father. It's about time that we stopped living in easy streets because Jesus did say that we need to work while it's day because night is coming when no man can work. And we've just seen it, that people are trying to stop our message. And there will come a day when our message is illegal. It's illegal to name the Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. You think that this is crazy as I say this? Well, just look at other countries. They name Jesus Christ and they go to jail. Friends, let's make sure we take every opportunity right what? now. Because those people in those other countries, they would pay thousands, thousands of pounds, thousands of dollars to get 10 minutes to be in your shoes. 10 minutes to tell someone, a lost person, about Jesus Christ. So will you do that today? Take 10 minutes to tell someone about Jesus. Okay, you've waited long enough. This is how NASA are trying to silence Christians too. The group is threatening to file a lawsuit against NASA because Johnson Space Center has banned the word Jesus from an employee newsletter. Sophia Smith wow. and a group of other NASA employees are threatening to sue the Johnson Space Center because they claim the Space Center is banning them from using the name Jesus in a company newsletter. It's part of our belief and we're called to use the name of Jesus when we pray. Neymar Jr. is a world-famous footballer what? who was paid not to speak about Jesus. If you want the full story, click here. Wow. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Wow. It's been a real privilege talking to you about Jesus today, and I'd love to have that chance again. God bless you all, and thank you for watching. Goodness gracious. Oh, that was deep. Lord that Jesus, was please deep. help us. Help your children. Wow. There is an agenda, and if we aren't careful and cover ourselves in his blood, in his holy name, in his holy spirit, if we don't cover ourselves, we are going to fall in the trap of Satan. Whenever it's that deep where you get thrown in prison, speaking about Jesus, that is out of this world you know you have to be willing to die for jesus i know and i believe with my heart and my soul that he died for our sins even before we was in our mother's womb he died for our sins he knew it was going to be sin so we covered everybody in the world for their sins and he died for us and i believe that into the day i died but to be anti-Christ and, and, and um, don't want to pass on a message, you know, it's like, that's just terrible. Sometimes we're anti-Christ and don't even know it. I think there are a lot of people who, it's terrible. you know, they don't, they don't realize that they're doing the <clears throat> devil's work. They think that it's a game. They think that, um, you know, they can just live and denounce God and don't, you know, live for God and change their wicked ways. And they think that this some type of way is they can just erase God completely because they don't want to change. They don't want to change. They don't want to change. So if they erase God, if they ban God, if they cancel God, Which they can. think that, that's just that like, somehow that's just so, it's just going to go away. So the creator yeah. of everything. God created everything. How is that even possible? Moon, you can ban stars, him. You can cancel God. 
You can tell it. You can make him illegal. And he is still here. His presence and his Holy Spirit. It, there is nothing any demon in hell can do he sent to son take him away. To walk the earth. <laughs> there is nothing you can do. To walk this earth. There I know is nothing. That we have the blood of Jesus running through us. And I know you can, you can just feel the spirit. You can feel him. You know it's real. You and can as we pretend. get deeper and deeper in, in, into the Bible, it all makes sense. You can pretend he doesn't exist. It makes sense. You can go on and live your life of sin. You can do all of that because he gave free will. <laughs> He's not a slave owner. He's not going to make you do anything. It is your free will to live for him. Wow. Well, you know what? We're going to keep living The choice him. is in your hands. We're going to pass on the message. And we're going to have it on our platform. And we want millions and millions and millions of people all around the world to get the message. Yes. You know, he died for our sins. Most definitely. And we got to believe in him. Yes. Believe in God. Gotta and you have to follow his commandments. You have to. There are 10 of them. Yes. Absolutely. If you don't follow his laws, what do you think is going to happen? You'll be punished. The laws that he created for us, for us humans. So even though Jesus died for your sins, that doesn't mean because he punishes you, he doesn't love you. He still loves each and he loves the he loves the people who hate him. Yeah, God said, but you'll love still your enemy, be punished. Love your neighbors. You will be Spread punished. Spread that love. Wow, this is so deep. I like videos like this because it's always a good message in there. You got to find it. And the message is, you know, let's follow God. And let's get this message out. Jesus ASAP. Is all the over way. the world. Jesus you know? is the way. Absolutely. For all of us to have abundant life. Yes. The devil, he has a lot of tricks. Everything is a trick. And trust me, to all the devil followers, the devil loves nobody. You can follow him you. and he still hates you. He want to use you and he want to destroy you. <laughs> he want to kill you. Oh, you think you're going to be in hell crazy. having a party <laughs> because you followed the devil. Oh, no, I man. followed you, Satan. I'm I'm one of your spawns. He still hates you. Mm, 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 mm. And when he's done with you, he's going to dump you after you do all his work. Ain't that something? Wow. And God just wants you to just believe in him. And you will live eternally. You know, just believe in him. Have faith in him. Walk with him. Guys, that's our time. We got deep into the story. But videos like this are coming, guys. All right? So just be on the lookout. So um, before we get up out of here, guys, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also get inside the comment section. That would help. All right, Appreciate guys. it, all right? We signed off, Have guys. Till next time. Day. It's your boy, Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Bye. Damn!